has not given us the spirit of fear. Are you hearing me this morning? He has given us the spirit of faith. You yeah. don't have to fear these sicknesses and diseases out here in the world. You don't have to fear COVID. You don't have to fear cancer. You don't have to fear diabetes. You don't have to fear heart trouble. You don't have to fear all of these things of the enemy. Jesus Christ has given us the power over all the power of the enemy. And nothing shall by any means hurt you. <laughs> Oh. Faith in God. Like I said Faith. earlier, I'm glad what man can do. But it can only go so far. Yes. All man can do is cut away, uh -huh. take out. Uh -huh. Now they can replace a hip or replace a knee. But God. Is a God of creative miracles. Amen. Yes. Come on now. And that's what we were here last time. Fair. I said God is a God of creative miracles. I've known of instances where people had a foot amputated. And God in this generation grew the thing back. You know what I'm talking about, Sister Harrison, don't you? We're serving that same God today. Oh, I know it's quiet in here. Maybe all's just tired. Uh, no. <laughs> but God ain't. Mm. Who's saying God is? Well, that was you, Sister Randall, wasn't it? We need to sing a song called God Ain't Now. Uh. God is and God ain't. God ain't tired. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yes. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. forever. No matter what the doctor with, I know a Jesus that 2,000 years ago went to the whipping pole and every sickness and every disease has already been defeated. Yeah. That's why Peter came along on this side of the cross and said by his stripes you were healed past tense means that Jesus already did it. Jesus already finished the work. Jesus already paid the price. I don't I don't care if it's a pain tumor. I don't care if it's tuberculosis. Jesus Christ has all. I don't care if it's cancer or uh, COVID. Jesus Christ has already paid the price for your healing. And for Jesus life. Christ has already paid the price. Yeah, I like that. That's the truth. <laughs> My wife here is a tuberculosis miracle. Nine years old. Running a fever of 106. Tuberculosis is a killer. 106 fever. Her parents took her to the emergency room. The doctors ran all the examinations and the x-rays and confirmed beyond the shadow of a doubt tuberculosis in her lungs. The doctors told her parents We've got to admit her right now. Her daddy said, no, we're going to church tonight, and I'll bring her to see you tomorrow. Now, <laughs> most folks would have done called DHS on. <laughs> but they took her to church, laid her on the pew, gathered around her and prayed for her with her crying and pain. From 106 fever and tuberculosis in her lungs, gathered around her and prayed for her in the mighty name of Jesus, and that fever broke instantly. She quit crying and was no longer suffering and in pain. And the next day, took her back to the same doctor. Yeah. They ran the same tests on her, checked her out, checked out the tests, checked out the x-rays. All they could do was shake their heads and say, we don't know what happened, but there's no sign of tuberculosis in her whatsoever. Yes. Why? Wow. Because Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, forever. Yeah. That's yeah. somebody yeah. dead yeah. to believe God. <laughs> oh, that we would get a hold of this today. Mm -hmm. 
rather than get scared and run into the emergency room and allow